Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what it do, people out there, thank you for joining us, man, I am your guy, Joker, what, first of all, I'm all fucked up, I'm all over the place, man, sorry, I was just taking a peek at the highlights, some of the finals, man, and yo, can I say, man, Miami's getting the ass buzzed by 17, and, are they, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I just passed out for a little bit, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, uh, but yeah, man, sorry, guys, for the little mix-up, man, I, I recording this a little late, because I had to work late, so, you know, it's my fault, and like, always, like, if you ask Josh, it's my fault, you know. What I mean? But um, yeah, guys, welcome to CBSI's uh, Friday FOC with the East meets West, man. I am your guy Joker, and I am here with Josh. What's up, What's Josh? Up? <laughs> What's up? There you go, Mimi time, sleepy time. Yeah, um, seriously. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. Uh, I didn't read much this week. Only read one book. What book? Uh, the ASM book. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, if ASM's up on here today, we will. We'll, we'll no, about it's it. not. It's not. Uh, well, we'll talk about it later on, or whatever. But um, yeah, man. How was how was your week, man? Uh, yeah, it was all right. I'm just tired. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm getting like just older, or if I'm sick, or allergies, or it's the weather, or whatever. I'm just like tired all the time. Could be the season changing, bro. You know, the yeah. older the older you get, you know. My knees hurt. You know, it's going to rain. No, no, I'm not, in, <laughs> no, I'm not in pain or anything like that. Like, I'm in great shape. It's just it's tired. Yeah, but I don't know. Snap out of it, man. Let, let, let's, let's, let's knock this out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, uh, what 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 days are this for, man? What, what, is, what is this for? This is for the 4th, Sunday the 4th for DC. And Independence ordered through Lunar. And the 5th. Uh, one of my brother's birthdays, Monday the fifth. Hey, uh, happy birthday, brother! Yeah, not Nick. Um, and uh, Monday the fifth for Marvel and Independence Order through uh, Diamond. And make sure you go over to comicbookinvest.com. Yes. I am just so out of it right now. Like, just I'm just like literally just woke up. So uh, you're gonna be un out of it, you're gonna be in it, week or whatever. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, man, my my uh my week has been alright, man. Been busy working at work. Been playing Call of Duty, a lot of Call of Duty with my um with Bigs, Manny, and um Fetty, Big Fetty, yeah, who pops the henny. Um, yeah, man, just uh, it's addicting that game, man. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be back in it, but I'm back in it, man, and whew, it's pretty fun, man. It's pretty fun. I um, finished uh Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which you know. I see Biggs hasn't even played because he's too busy playing fucking shit game. Nah, he's busy reading his Superman books, bro. Nah, he ain't doing that either. <laughs> so I don't even want to hear that he don't have no fucking time because you just outed him. Oh, shit, uh, yo. Yeah, I finally finished that, beat that, loved it. I just got to platinum it now. I'm close. Yeah. And then obviously playing Zelda, which I'm loving it. Okay. I'm loving it. But you're, you're, you're enjoying it more than Breath of the Wild, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, and I'm wondering if I should go back to Breath of the Wild. I, I've already mentioned this. I, I don't know if I will or not. I still don't think it was that good. But maybe my mind will change. I don't think so. But anyway, let's let's uh, let's do this. Oh, we got, I mean, all right. That's what I, was, I was not done talking, but all right. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 let's go. We can talk after. Let's go. Clementine book two. It's already been a year since book one came out. Yo, I forgot all about this shit. You're right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was, wasn't it a free comic book day last year? Eh? Oh, no. Well, no. The free comic book day book came out last free comic book day, you know, in 2022. And then the book came out like a month or two later. Okay. Um, And I think there's three books. I think they're all a year apart. I mean, they're thick books. You know, they're, it's like a book. Um. And it's written and drawn by the same person. So, and the first one was good. It was okay. Uh, so, you know. I mean, well, well, talk about Clementine. So, for the people who don't know, man. Um, well, Clementine was the character that was born out of the Walking Dead video games from Telltale. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the, oh my God, is it, I think 2012 or is it 10? That yeah, I think 2010 maybe. Wow, they didn't feel the like that, bro. One? Yeah, god damn, it's been a long time. And those games were great. Or at least the first two were. Yeah. I never played the third one. 
I only, um, play, hmm? I only played the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. Good. Um, but yeah, uh, a spinoff, guys, of uh, Walking Dead, if you're not familiar with. So. Yeah. There you go. All right. Next. World Tree 33. I always say that. I don't know why. It, no, it's just World Tree. World Tree number two, second print, and then World Tree number three. World Tree number two came out this week. Um, is already already number two is getting a second printing, and it just came out. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I, I don't really understand the point of this book. I mean, the first issue was good, and then the second issue went nowhere with it. Uh -huh. Like there was some good, like there was like good dialogue between these two characters at the end, but it serves it served no purpose to the overall story. I mean, it, it's about you know this chick or entity who I guess I don't know if she's an actual woman or just you know looks like a woman who walks around she's naked all the time, uh -huh. um, and <laughs> just causes people to you know kill other people. It sounds and, like that that um. That Jillian March Carmen. Oh yeah, but yeah. yeah, but that's different. Like that that's just because she's dead and she's an angel yeah. and you yeah. know. Gotcha. That was a good that was a good read. It was a good read. I enjoyed it. Different, way different. All right. Uh okay, we got some of these covers here. I like that one in twenty-five. I like the different color. I like the colors on them. I like um, the one in fifty. One in fifty is decent. I like that one too, man. But the one in one hundred, that's the Department of Truth. Homage, right? Yeah. I, enough with the homages, guys. Yeah. You know? I, I don't know. It, like, James uh, Tynan, it's like, he's, I don't want to say he's going the Donny Cates route, but he, he he hasn't done anything recently that's been like, wow, you know, to me. Yeah. I, I feel like maybe uh, writers like that need to just, so, you know, calm down a little bit. Yeah, like you don't need to take a I mean, sabbatical. I, take a sabbatical, or or it's like you know, pace yourself. But then again, it's like, well, do you need to get all your stuff out while you can, while your name is still hot? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Yeah, but if you do that, I, I just feel like you're gonna outwork yourself and not be. You know, we we talked about this all the time. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah I, I feel like they need to trim it down for them. But whatever. Okay, I thought this was done, but all right. It, seems like yeah, it's well, yeah. Let's get a let's get a one shot, you know. <laughs> Which I'll tell you, I will not be getting. I'm not falling for this bullshit. Um, th uh, this is written by Keanu Reeves and Steve Scrochi or Scrosi. So it's not Matt Clint or Kint 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 Clint Kilt or whatever his name was. Uh, so this is just a one shot. A sea of gore and devastation awaits as B, through a fateful chance encounter, safeguards the advanced and ancient realm of Atlantis as its unstoppable protector. Yeah. But a sickly king serves as a symbol for the rotten side, as the security and uh, bliss created through B's violence is shallow. The cracks created by a secret cult might spell a monstrous end for the lengthy city, or I'm sorry, for the legendary city. One even beyond B's ability to save. Renowned filmmaker and record-shattering comic creator Keanu Reeves joins acclaimed writer and artist Steve Scrochi, who did Doctor Strange, for a one-shot special that fans of Lovecraftian horror would be mad to miss. I, that actually kind of sounds okay. I actually might get this. Um, I think they might have just tricked me into getting it. It's a $10 book. I mean, so you, you take it as maybe it's going to be a thick book, I guess, too. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there you go, man. Keanu Reeves, more money for you, bro. <laughs> David Mack, one in fifty. The David Ahau Aja. I I I I gotta know how how you say it, man. Uh, one in twenty five. Yeah. I like that one. It gives me a a Jay Lee vibe. Yeah. Well, he's the guy that did all those Hawkeye covers and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see what else. The only DC book on this week, Batman 135 second print. I mean, it's not the only DC book. It's the only on the list, though. Okay. Batman 135 second print. Um, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. I just don't know where they're taking Batman. 
I, weird, I'm, weird direction. Yeah, it is, but I'm still sticking with it. You know, uh, cover. I mean, we can't say much. We already talked about 135 already. Uh, but the cover, I, I really like the second print. Uh, I like how it looks. Uh, it's like a negative vibe of it, right? Mm. Um, pretty cool. I like the red fonts on top. Mm-hmm. If that's the cover, you know, whatever. Um, pretty good job, man. Yeah, I'll get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Blade. Definitely a good one. Yeah, I, I mean, it'd be cooler if it was just the Tomb of Dracula on the bus. When I first saw this... I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me because I thought they were reprinting Tomb of Dracula. I've been waiting forever. And I, I bought it like, a, I don't know, a while ago now and paid like m- a lot of money for it because it's out of print. And usually every time I do that, they reprint it. But this is not just Tomb of Dracula. Um, so this collects um, Tomb of Dracula 10, 12 through 14, 24, 30. 41 through 43, 45, 51, 53, and 58. Marvel Preview 3, Fear 24, Doctor Strange 61 through 62 and 67. Plus material from Tomb of Dracula 17 through 19, 21, 44, 46 through 50, and 52. Vampire Tales 8 through 9, Marvel Preview 8, and Marvel Comics Presents number 64. Um, I know you just like the Tomb of Dracula uh, cover right there, but I, I kind of, I kind of think that he did the Marvel preview too because he's been on a few of those magazines. Oh so. yeah, 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 yeah. The volume three for Tomb of Dracula is a Marvel preview. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's um, it's a magazine cover though. Okay. Yeah, the Tomb of Pretty Dracula cool. magazine ones. Definitely yeah. cool. <clears throat> Captain America number seven fifty. Somewhat of a milestone, right? Or yeah, I guess. Um, so the special issue seven fifty, the Captain America, the Captains America mourn their fallen after the harrowing events of Captain America Cold War. The Captains America return home to mourn their fallen and strive to honor the power of legacy. Jeez. Plus, the secret origin of Sam Wilson's new shield is revealed. And a bold new direction for Sharon Carter. In honor of 750 issues of Captain America, a team of fan-favorite guest writers joined forces with superstar artists to spin timeless tales celebrating the epic history of the Star-Spangled Hero. Don't miss this jam-packed oversized issue. Why do they always got to do this? Fu- this just fu- That just woke me the fuck up right uh-huh. there. Why, does, why do all these anniversary issues have to be jam-packed? An anthology of shit with just do a, a great issue. Yeah, I I, I agree. I, I feel like if you're gonna do those um like multiple stories and things, it gotta be keep it in the annuals. Keep it in the mm-hmm. annuals. Um, this right here, eh, I'm not gonna be getting it. I'm not. I'm not a Captain America guy. You know, there's uh, some dope covers here though. Yeah, oh I yeah. Think. Oh no, you know, no, you haven't even seen yet. But I, I, I like this one. Yeah, that one's cool. I like that one. I, I like the George Perez. Gives me a, like an animated series vibe. I like that. I'm Pretty definitely cool. getting two of them. Not not any of these. Okay. All right. Oh, I like the Romita Senior. Right? And the Addy Granoff. Yeah, the Addy Granoff was nice, but that Romita Senior with that yellow cover. Right? 50. Yeah. Hidden gem. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Cool cover, man. Yep. There you go. There you I don't go. know if this is Sharon Carter also. I know they said a new direction for her. I don't know if that's who that is right there. I don't know. Edge of Spider-Verse 4. So this is um, sort of a key issue. This is you have the return of uh, Dream Spider. Okay. Um, who showed up in, um, what was it, Spider-Man? Um, the fuck was the name of that book? Um, I'm sure it'll say it in the synopsis. Uh, yeah, Dream Spider Returns, uh, the new spider character from the hit Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. That's what it is. Miniseries returns in her first solo adventure. Also, what if the radioactive spider we all know and love bit J. Jonah Jameson? 
This Edge of Spider Verse series way better than the last one. Is it? In my, yes, in my opinion. Actually, issue two came out this week, and it's the one with um, uh, what's the what, what the freak is her name? Um, the the like the Disney princess one, Spinstress, right? Uh huh. Hold on. It was actually really good. Oh. It mm-hmm. it was just like a Disney story, basically about her. And you know the um, uh, the the it, I like how the I don't know if it, if she calls her the fairy godmother I can't remember it looks like Maleficent but yeah. it's it's like a woman green goblin kinda um, and you know you got a you got a Venom type character plus uh, there's a second story in this and what's this guy's name Sky Spider I think. Um, which was okay. It was kind of like a, a like a tribal, like it, it kind of like almost like berserker type from back in the day or something. Uh, or two different stories. He's like actually a spider. Like he's got like like the like the fangs coming out of his face and shit like that. So okay. yeah, it was like, the gra- I mean the graphics, the fucking uh, the 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 illustration and the the, the the art is pretty dope, man. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, let me take you off the one. All right, let's keep it moving. And this uh, one in twenty-five looks very reminiscent of um, Volume Two, Issue One for Spider-Man Twenty-Nine. Yeah, but nonetheless, Mo Bianchi, great job. That's a dope, dope cover. Nonetheless, man, I like it. Really like it. What was this one? Uh, Extreme Venom Verse Number Four. Also, something uh, you got going on here, and also I think. There's another Venom verse book coming up too, where you got the first appearance of Kid Venom. That's not what this is. So in this one, you're gonna get um, an all new symbiote stories. Uh, first, Deadpool scribe Alyssa Wong and revolutionary ar- revolutionary artist Ken Nomura unite to introduce a symbiotic superstar inspired by anime and manga, who's about to take the multiverse by storm. Then industry superstar Peach Momoko is about to make your skin crawl with a tale of some fearsome flora, the likes of which you've never seen. Moreover, Groot, or I'm sorry, move over, Groot. There's a new plant in the spotlight of the Marvel U, and this one's a killer. And lastly, Venom Noir. You've heard of Spider-Man Noir. Now we meet this uh, totemic, totemic, huh? And terrible opposite of. Uh, and terrible opposite as this reality symbiotic hive gets explored for the very first time. Um, so a couple cool characters here. I think this one may be something. Venom Noir, I like the idea. I don't think it has any staying power. And this whole fucking Peach Momoko character just doesn't sound interesting at all. It sounds like that, whatever that book is that she does that's, uh, the X-Men demon, book, right? Demon, yeah, Demon Days. But the first one was a Venom one, if I remember right. Yeah. Um, and then you got a pretty cool uh, one in 25, the Takashi. Oh, that- yeah, that this is the person who did the uh, uh, Spider-Punk, that one in 50, I believe, right? Dope-ass cover. Really like that book. Mm. The cover, you don't like it? I do. Wow. You? I'm, I'm going to talk about that one. I'm talking about the Spider-Man one. The Spider Punk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was All okay. Right. All right. Let's Moon Knight what... City of the Dead number one. You also have Moon Knight number twenty five coming up on this FOC as well. I don't have it on the slideshow, but um, dope covers. Yeah. So uh, the debut of the new Scarlet. Or, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, the debut of the new Scarlet Scarab. Following the events of Moon Knight number 25, when a young runaway is attacked by a gang of death cultists, he is left barely alive outside the Midnight Mission. But Mark Spector made a vow long ago to defend the Travelers of the Night. And as long as a spark of life remains, his mission isn't over yet. Follow Moon Knight on his most harrowing adventure yet, as the Fist of Khonshu uh journeys far beyond the land of the living and battles across the mind-bending underworld known as the city of the dead um i don't know how moon knight is right now i stopped at like issue 14 uh it started strong i thought uh the art was good and it just got boring to me um i I, it just kind of felt directionless i don't know where it's at now um but you know some cool covers 
No Sinkevich on uh, issue one, but you will get him on issue two coming up on an incentive. And, of course, you got another Scotty Young cover. Not as good as his uh, Moon Knight one that he did from a couple of years ago, but... Still cool. Yeah. Uh, go back. Yeah, uh, the Rod Reese cover is really nice. Uh, that Maliv is just fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, that C cover gives me, like, the like an homage of Spider-Woman, that cover. Mm-hmm. Um and that D cover is nice. All these covers are really nice, man. I, I'm, I, this is pretty good. Uh, the Scotty Young cover is good, too. You know, uh, next slide. Yeah, I don't know what they mean when they say the debut of the new Scarlet Scarab. I don't know who she is, if it's a brand new character or what's going on, but obviously that's her. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, all these covers are pretty cool, man. The 150 is the one that's kind of, like, bland. That's about it. Man. I know. The other right. weird thing is, I think on issue two, I don't know if it's a big deal, but like, there's, I think there's a one in one hundred on issue two, mm-hmm. and like a couple other incentives, which it's always weird to me how they do that. Like, is, number one has a one in fifty, but no one in twenty five, and then number two will have like a one in one hundred, and I don't know, okay. Spider Man ten. Okay, <laughs> I can't believe this book is still going. I yeah. mean, yeah, I know Spider Boy. You know, is the big thing that came out of this, but I didn't yeah. think this would be going this long. And what? Are, let's, what about that Stephanie Hans cover, though, man? Stephanie Hans is just a dope cover. Like she's a dope artist. Yep. Uh, I really enjoy seeing her art. Um, nice person when you get to meet him, and you, get, you know, you go to the cons and you see a, a really oh, nice yeah? person. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Definitely, man. Um, cool. Cool. Cool cover. Thor annual number one. Uh. Did we talk about Thor 34 last week? I thought that, yeah, I thought that was done. No, no, no. Thor no? 35 is the last one. Oh. It's not out yet. So you're in a Thor annual who's, it's not written by, what's her face? Thorin Grunback or whatever her name is. It, the book is so fucking bad. I, I mean, so fucking bad. Um, it, 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 Probably for a number of reasons. We've, we've discussed this before. I cannot wait until this book ends. The most squand, maybe the most squandered potential, arguably ever, in the history of comic. I mean, I'm sure there's been other things, but there's nothing that comes to my mind. Something that had so much potential in the beginning, mm. and just flushed it. Yep, had everything going for it. Writer, artist, everything. And- yep. Yep. Oh well. It, writer, artist, idea, you mm-hmm. know, uh, you know, had the steam coming off of Venom also, you know, it, it, it that whole Black Winter arc was so good. I like and, the George Perez cover. And, and, and Thor is a good character, man. I feel like Thor is a good character that, you know, <clears throat> I haven't I haven't read a good Thor story since Jason Aaron, I think. That's about it. I mean, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, but that's just me, I guess. I mean, other than the Black Winter arc, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, there we go. All right. George Perez, cool. What do we need a one in 100 for? No, no. Uh, really? On a Thor annual? What? what? <laughs> Venom 22. Um, Some pretty cool covers here. I like the whole Dylan. Dylan. Or, no, I'm sorry. This isn't Dylan. This that's is. Dylan? Uh, no, no. Um, well, is it Dylan? Yeah, I think it is Dylan. It's well, it's either Dylan or Normie. I, now, my my question is, uh, is it is that an anti Venom suit or? Well, that's the thing where it. That's why it, it, originally they were calling Normie's symbiote the uh, anti Carnage. So. I don't know who this is. I mean, this looks like Dylan, but it also looks like Normie. Yeah, but isn't Normie like with the? But that's in the Red Goblin, I guess, story arc. I guess with. I mean, uh, in, I mean he's but he's also in this one right now. Okay. He was just in the last issue, and the last issue was pretty good. Um, but this is also another series that needs to end, even though the last issue was pretty good. I have to say. Um, Brian Hitch, uh, I've said it before. He's a great artist. He, his style to me just does not fit Venom. Just doesn't. And I'm tired of seeing Bedlam on these covers. I mean, I really am. These covers are so samey by him. 
that, that this is, cover is fucking awesome. It just that, sucks that it's with Flexo. Yeah, it, it is dope though. Beyond Burns did, did it go in. Beyond Burns is definitely a great person to do a Venom cover. Um, that seat cover, ah, I don't like it. It looked like you tried mm. to do it like Bagley and you failed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but I think the one to look out for if you're reading Venom. Is the B cover and definitely keep an eye on the Stegman. Yeah. And the one twenty five, obviously. But that's in the sense of right. Yeah. X twenty three Deadly Regenesis number five. Issue three came out this week. It was okay. Nothing really happened. Just has to do with uh Kimura like kind of reprogramming X twenty three and yeah. you know, getting her to come back and work for her by basically blackmailing her. Um it, it was fine. It's just Again, I'm I'm not sure the purpose of a I'm not sure the purpose of a lot of these five story series. Well, I don't know. But cool cover we'll keep in. Tales from Nottingham number one, second print, great read. The only one that you got from Shane Connery Volk and um David uh Hazan. And then number five. Yeah, that's a crazy cover. Number four came out this week. I actually didn't get to read it yet. It's the only book I didn't read. And Nottingham is just a badass story. Um, yeah. Yeah, but this Tales from Nottingham hasn't been. I mean, some of them have been okay. Just not. I, I just don't know what the point of it really was. I, I mean, mean, I understand what they were trying to do. I just. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not. I haven't read none of the um the the what is he one sh- not because they, they're all one shots, right? They're all different yeah. stories. Right? <clears throat> I haven't read these. Um, but besides volume one and volume two, um. Yeah, it's just been a good read, but you know, when it comes to the main story, uh, next volume are we gonna get it? I I don't know when are we gonna get it, but um, definitely can't wait for that. You know, just they already part. confirmed it, right? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, did yeah. they or did they say? I, can't I, I gotta if go. They said volume three would be the last one, or if they said volume two would be the last one. I gotta go back and look. I gotta go back and look. Um, who mentioned it on the IG? <clears throat> Okay. Uh, oh, a what not book? Yeah, by request of Joker. This is Comic Tom's book. Whoa, what? Yeah. Request by me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to roll with it, bro. I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> oh, hang on one second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I think they pulled it off. They pulled it off? Yeah, they pulled it off. Okay. So it's not on this week. So no need to talk about it. We'll talk about it. Uh, when it's back on. When it's back on. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Yep. So let's go to Lunar. I didn't really see anything of consequence on DC this week. The previews came out. Uh, the preview magazine came out this week, right? Uh, I don't know. I didn't oh. actually look at it. Okay. Well, uh, action comics. Anyone reading action? Should give action a try. Yeah, Superman's been good though. Regular yeah, Superman. it has. Yeah. So, um, definitely, man. Uh, City Boy. Did anyone read City Boy number one? City Boy, no. No, 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 no. Dead Box, DC, no. Okay. Detective Comics. Yeah, let, let, let me know. I'm curious about Detective Comics because I was really feel, feeling it before Ryan, Ryan V. Jumped on it. it. It was good. I, I don't know. I like the tone of it. I just didn't like the story. Yeah. Like, I like the whole, like, dark opera type of, you know? Yeah. Green Arrow. Anyone reading Green Arrow? Yeah, oh, Exorcist uh, Never Die. I totally forgot about this book. There we go. Okay, it's Green Harley. Arrow. Harley Quinn 31. Wow. Okay, black clear with them, them thick ass hips. Okay, okay, Harley, I see you. John Tiffany. What the hell is that? It sounds like a Human Target book or some shit. Yeah, right. It's like fucking John Wick's cousin or something. <laughs> oh shit! I. Right. Oh, what else? What else we got? Nightfall. I don't know why they're reprinting this Nightwing the Joker War trade paperback. Mm. Is this where he gets shot? Yeah, it is. And he loses his memory by KG Beast. Fucking stupidest fucking villain ever. That cover was dope, though. 
Oh, Popeye. Yeah, yeah that cover, that was like a $10 book for the longest time. Yeah. Oh, uh, what else we got here? Riddler, year one, number five. No, yeah, five like six. how long has this been going on for? Nobody cares. That's a sink of its cover at that. Oh, uh, Santo Sisters. Okay. Space Outlaw, number one. Mm, okay. Don't know what that is about. Tim Drake. Anyone reading Tim Drake? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, uh, and that's it. All right. Moving on to previews. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, right, we'll I thought this for. I looked at this real quick. I thought that said deep nuts. I'm like, oh wow. Where what the hell? Uh, so Invincible on again. So obviously they moved it again. Um, the trade paperback. I mean, Scorched. No one talks about these Spawn books anymore. The vanished book that you, you was reading. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard like this is really st starting to reflect what people think Donny Cates is going through in his life. Really? Yeah, which kind of makes sense when I, you know, looking back on the first three issues that I read or whatever it was. Interesting. Well, sad also, but. I mean, interesting because I don't know what's going on. You know. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's just people speculating, though. You know. Captain Marvel, Dark Tempest, number one. Uh, I got some cool covers on this. Yeah, it is a nice cover. Damn. Okay. Looking good. Doctor Strange, number five. Fantastic Four, number nine. Two Hulk facsimiles, if you don't have these issues. Oh, my God, yo. What? Yeah, again, I feel like they're coming out every other month. I know. Moon Knight 25. That's pretty sick. Yeah, here's another John Tyler Christopher. So, obviously, he's not doing these exclusively for his store anymore. Unless he come out with a different color, like a variant or some shit. Uh, Jim Chung cover. That's a nice Jim Chung cover. Yeah, all these covers are pretty nice. Yeah, that shit is nice. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, what else we got? What else we got? Some Star Wars? Yeah. All right. There you go. Another John Tyler Christopher cover. Venom Lethal Protector 2. And another stupid X-Men book. X-Men Before so the Fall, the Sinister Four. Mm. Okay. Oh, my God. Let me see that uh, Phoenix cover. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool cover, man. Yeah. yeah. I like it. The Sinister Four. Dino, my. We got Darkwing Duck. All right. Uh, Elvira. Gargoyles. Uh, King Kong. The Vampirella. Okay, okay. Sexy Vampirella books. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Some Avatar, the Last Airbender. Black tape. Okay. Uh, cursed verse. Cursed verse. Don't know. Don't know. Say, dead box. Yeah. It's nothing like. Nothing grabbing my attention right no, now. No, it yeah. just doesn't. I like those golden age uh, Daredevil book right there with Hitler on the cover. Daredevil battles Hitler. And then, then there's another one up up top. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, you like the crime suspense stories? Yeah. There you go. That's fucking dope. They're, yeah. What are they reprinting? The Golden the Archive. Yeah. Yeah. Dark That's pretty cool for twenty dollars. Not bad. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Also, in the making of Assassin's Creed fifteenth anniversary deluxe edition. I might get this. Nah, you're gonna get that. I know you are. I might. I, I thought it might be the uh, encyclopedia that they did, a, like, I don't know, God, like a decade ago, like a reprint of it. Yeah. If it was that, I would definitely get it. I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, I know from the synopsis what it is, but like. Nah, that book looked dope. You're gonna get it. I know you're gonna get it. This looks dope. All right. <clears throat> Fuck. 
Pantera. Pantera. Really? Yeah. I know Kiss had the Evo, but Pantera. All right. Oh, what else we got here? Not Turtles. Anymore. I like that turtle mugshot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That one, yeah, I know. Yeah. That's cool. Unique. They don't usually do things like that, you know. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, Lego verse. What? Legos. Okay, I don't know. I was trying to pronounce that shit different. Uh, TMNT cross stranger things. Oh my god. Yeah, they they were coming out with the figures, right? The the action figures too. Which are omnibus. Which were dope. I liked the, those uh, crossover figures because they were like the like the Eastman black, you know, the black and white ones with the red bandanas. I mean, oh, you got trick yeah. cards. There you go. Yeah, and that's it. There you go, guys. Right. I am tired. It's all good, man. Uh, There's gonna be a short one this one, man. Uh, yeah. There we go. Hit up CBSI, man. Comicbookinvest.com. All right, guys, get the full list there. And you'll see it. All right, guys. Uh, other than that, man, uh, I guess, you know, I mean, real quick, we could talk about it real quick before we go. Um, this week, Spider-Man across what the, the, the Oh, Spider-Man. yeah. What? Across the Spider-Verse, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were yeah. talking about Spider-Man 26. Oh, we could talk about Spider-Man 26. Yeah, you're right. So we talk about Spider-Man, period. Uh, what did you think of Spider-Man 26? I thought it was bad. You thought, thought it was bad? bad? I really did. And and after reading it, I liked it. I'm like, did they re I it almost looks like to me that they originally intended to kill Mary Jane. And they either got some sort of I, I don't know. And it Backlash looks like they kind of shoehorned her into Miss Marvel getting killed. Because she's really only in like the first like page or so. Yeah. And then the last like three pages. And it and it all happened so fast, and it it it's just bad. I I like the I like the well, you know, even if they did do that, because you never you never know, they probably did do that. Uh, I like how they did um the little switcheroo, how she had her little powers or whatever, because I, I didn't know she could do that, you know. Um, well, I guess she could only do that. Like she's done it like once or twice before. Yeah, but it's like very hard for her to do. Basically, yeah, what we're saying is that uh, she what is it transformed into Mary? Yeah, Jane. Mary, oh, yeah. yeah. This guy himself. And uh, what what the fuck is the guy? A misery or oh, what the fuck? No, no. Who the the god or the or, yeah, the god? The guy, the guy who killed well, the him. god is Yap, and the the like the 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 main guy is is Raven. Raven. Yeah. 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 yeah whatever. Um. Yeah. Killed Miss Morrow. Um. Thought yeah. it was Mary Jane going for mm-hmm. Mary Jane and um, end up being uh Miss Marvel and I don't think this will be the last time you'll see Miss Marvel. Um, oh really? <laughs> surprisingly, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was okay. It was fun. I, I I like I enjoyed reading it. Was it written well? I mean, it wasn't the best read, <clears throat> but I, I did enjoy the the action in it. I enjoyed the action in it. Um, you, see, you got an appearance from Fantastic Four. Uh, the only thing cool. that I thought was kind of cool is the whole thing with the kids where the kids aren't real. Yeah. And the he made the kids a reflection of Mary Jane and Paul. It was basically like chill, child versions of them. Uh-huh. That's why they related to them. Like that, that I thought was kind of neat. Something so obvious that I don't think really anyone picked up on. That was a... Uh... That was that was pretty cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I I really enjoyed uh, ASM twenty twenty six. Mm. Yeah, uh, even though you know everybody speculated it was Mary Jane and end up being Miss Marvel. Sad, went on. Um, yeah, so uh, across the Spider Verse, man, the movie Spider Man two, uh, Miles Morales is dropping this Friday. It's day now. You seeing this? Yo, uh, there is so many movies coming out in like the next like week or two. Oh, I'm I'm only anticipating this one and the Flash, dude. Even you know what movie I really want to see, maybe above even those two movies, is that Jennifer Lawrence movie. Have you seen the trailer for that? No. Um, what is it? Is it hard to get? Or, hard or to no, feel. no hard feelings. It's hard dude, to feel part two. It's a comedy. 
It it looks really good. And hey, you're more excited to see that. I swear to God. Yeah. I'm telling you, go look at the trailer. It looks really good. She's funny. I thought you was gonna want. Uh, you was anticipating to see uh some Fast Ten man, some family. Fuck that shit. Man, I can't believe people actually still go and watch that bullshit. Yeah, we get um, and I heard it. this is a spinoff with The Rock coming out, another one. All right, cool. Of oh, Fast, the Fast and Furious. Um, but yeah, man, Spider Verse, man, I, I can't wait. You know, uh, to see this one. First one was fucking awesome. The like the animation is so dope. The soundtrack was cool. Um, casting, the voice casting, man, awesome. Awesome voice casting, um, yeah. So can't wait for it to come, you know, to come out. Uh, I I am gonna see that this Saturday. I got my tickets already. You plan on seeing it? I don't know if I'll see that in the movies, man. I'm not that excited about. Really? I, I mean, don't because I, 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 because because I seen the first one in the theaters. I am excited about it. I am. I I, I enjoyed it. It was pretty cool, man. Um, but yeah, man, Flash is coming out in a couple weeks too. Also. Mm-hmm. Things like June. that, I will see. Yeah, yeah, that shit looks fucking dope. Um, mm-hmm. Can't wait for that. Yeah, we'll talk about that when it gets closer. But um, yeah, that, that I guess we can't really say much. I, I am gonna see this uh, this week. Uh, I give like a quick review next week. You know, when we drop this um, on the, our next episode of um, FOC. Um, that's that's all I want to talk about. That's, that's all. Um, you got anything else or no? No. No. I. Uh, we can end this then, man. Um, again, guys, uh, got to check out the list, man, and let us know what you think. We recommend books to each other, guys, in the comments. All right, because uh, we pick up on that sometimes, you know. Um, other than that, man, I guess uh, we'll catch you guys next week, guys. Videos uh, drop earlier than normal too. We've been, we've been doing that. It's no longer dropping at nine. We try to drop at midnight now. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, as soon as it's Friday, yeah, it drops midnight. All right, guys. So. Give you some more time. Yeah, definitely, man. All right, guys. Uh, other than that, I'll see you next week. All right? Stay safe. Later.